Hello everyone, this is Glenda and welcome back to Creative Grandma. It's Stitch of the Week time and this week's stitch was a special request from one of my subscribers. And if you remember, I did a video where I went to the crafts sale at our local craft barn and a woman had some baby afghans done in a really pretty soft three lightweight yarn and she used this little ripple stitch pattern and they were just gorgeous. So it just took me some time to get caught up but I got the video done. Here is the pattern. Now this is called pattern number 69 and it's the back loop baby ripple stitch so it's called the baby ripple because it has such a short length between the points we're only using three stitches and making just a baby ripple is how i call it and we're only working in the back loops and if you look at the work you can see the texture i'm going to try to put it like this so you can kind of see that texture it's not just flat now you can choose to work this in both loops if you want but it'll have a more flat look. You will not have these ridges for that beautiful texture. So I hope you can see that okay, how it has that texture coming up. Can you see that? I hope it's showing up. So it's just a wonderful pattern. You do your base row, row one, and then you repeat row two throughout for the pattern. So it's a great pattern if you're looking for something for a new baby. This is excellent for a baby afghan. Now I use four ply for my samples. So if you want to make a baby afghan, I would choose a soft, maybe three lightweight yarn for a baby afghan. Now these were made using a four ply Red Heart Super Saver in turquoise white and lemon yellow so very pretty sample and I changed colors every two rows so that's my first sample my second sample is just that crisp white I always like to make that white this is back that's the front so it's the same on both sides you can see that texture in that stitch it's just a wonderful pattern and working in those back loops just gives it that added something that just makes it look extraordinary. My third sample here I made using Karen Simply Soft Paint yarn and this is the color 21015 Baby Bright. So this is what it looks like when you're using those multi-colors and again you can see that texture. Just a really easy pattern. So let's jump right in, grab your yarn, grab your hook, just use whatever hook size is recommended on the yarn label you're going to be using. I'll be right back and we'll get this started. So for my sample today, I'm using Red Heart Super Saver and I'm using the color Aruba Sea. This is color number 505. It's a beautiful shade of blue. Now I tied my yarn around my hook and I did forget to mention that this stitch pattern is a multiple of 9 plus 3. So we're going to start and chain 30, which is our 9, our multiple of 9. I'm going to multiply it 3 times to get 27. And then we're going to add 3 for 30. So we're going to begin with the chain 30. You're going to yarn over your hook, pull through the loop on your hook. That's your first chain yarn over pull through that's two yarn over pull through that's three continue until you have a chain with 30 chains and i'll be back and we'll start row one i have my chain 30 made so now we're going to begin row one for row one we're going to skip this first chain and we're going to single crochet into the second chain from hook. Yarn over, pull through that chain. You have two loops. Yarn over and pull through. That's how you make a single crochet. We're going to work one single crochet in each of the next four chains. Insert into the next chain. Yarn over, pull through the chain. Yarn over and pull through two. That's one insert into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two. That's your single crochet and that is your second one. We need to do that two more times. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet. That's three. 
insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, and that's four. Now when you start this pattern, the beginning and end of the row is going to be different than the pattern you work throughout the center. So the beginning and ending is always going to be different. So now we're going to work three single crochet into this next chain, insert into that next chain, and work three single crochet. There's one, two, and three. So you can see we're starting to go up the hill and now we're going to go down the hill and then we'll go up the hill and down the hill. Just a very simple design. We're going to start our repeat here. So if you have a longer chain and you're making an afghan, then you would start here where I say this is the start of the repeat and you're going to work until I say this is the end of the repeat and you'll repeat that across your chain until you get to the last five chains. So let's begin the repeat. We're going to single crochet in each of the next three chain. Insert into the next chain. Work a single crochet. That's one. Insert into the next chain. Work a single crochet. That's two. Insert into the next chain. Work a single crochet. And that's three. We're going to skip the next two chain and we're going to work one single crochet into the next three chain. Insert into that next chain, work a single crochet, that's one, and you can notice because we skipped those two chain it forms our bottom point. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, that's two, insert into the next chain, work a single crochet and that's three. So you can see how your pattern is forming. You have your point on top, you work back down, you have your point on the bottom, now we're working back up to the top. We're going to work three single crochet into the next chain. Insert into that next chain and work three single crochet. One, two, and three. And that is the end of the repeat. You're going to repeat that across until you get to the last five chains. So let's do it one more time. Again, this is the start of the repeat. We're going to single crochet in each of the next three chain. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet that's one. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, that's two. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, and that's three. You're going to skip the next two chain, insert into the next chain, and we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next three chain. That's one. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, that's two. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, and that's three. We're going to work three single crochet into this next chain, insert into the next chain, and work three single crochet. One, two, and three. And that is the end of the repeat. You're ending your repeat on the top of the hill is what I call it, or your point at the top. So you can see how your pattern is forming. The top of your hill, the bottom of the hill, top, bottom, top. And now we're over to our last five stitches. So you should have a total of five chains remaining. One, two, three, four, and five. So if you're working on a longer chain, then just click back on the video and start where I said this is the start of the repeat, work until the end of the repeat, and then work that clear across your chain until you're at the last five chains. So now to finish this row, 
we're just going to work one single crochet in each of the last five chains. There's one, insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, that's two, insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, that's three, insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, that's four, insert into the last chain across, work a single crochet, and that's five. So your base row is complete. This is what it looks like. You should have three points. If you chain 30 and you're following along with my sample, you should have three points on top and you should have your two points in the center and then your beginning and end. So now we're going to start the repeat row and this is the row you're going to repeat over and over and over again until you get to whatever length you want. So we're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. Now with this pattern, you're working into the back loop only. So when you look at your work, this is your front loop here and your back loop is hidden down below that front loop. So you have to turn your work in order to see that loop. So we're going to begin, we're going to decrease over the first two stitches. Now if you're new to crocheting, don't let this scare you. It's very simple. I'm going to show you step by step. We're going to skip this beginning chain here. You have the loop on your hook and then you have your chain. So this would be your first stitch. So just loop on your hook, the chain one, first stitch. So take your work, turn it towards you, and you're going to insert your hook right between those two loops, and you're going to go right through that back loop. Let's see if I can show you better. You're going to yarn over and pull through that back loop. You have two loops on your hook. You're going to insert your hook into the back loop of that next stitch. So when you're looking at your work, here's the stitch, turn your work towards you, insert your hook right in the center and out through the back of that back loop, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You just made your decrease. Now we're going to single crochet in each of the next four single crochet. So find your next stitch. Now remember you worked in this stitch so if you're not sure just look and see where those stitches are. It's in this stitch so that's your next stitch. Insert into the back loop of that next stitch. Work a single crochet. That's one. Insert into the back loop of that next stitch. Here's your work. Turn it towards you. Insert into that back loop. Work a single crochet. That's two. Insert into the back loop of that next stitch. Again, you have to turn your work towards you so you can see that back loop. Insert underneath the back loop. Work a single crochet. That's three. Insert into the back loop of that next stitch. Work a single crochet and that's four. Now we're going to work three single crochet into the back loop of this next stitch. Insert into the back loop of that next stitch and work three single crochet. And make sure you work all three single crochet into that same back loop. That's two. Insert into the same loop, work a third single crochet. Now we're going to start our repeat. So if you need help with this pattern, you're going to click back on the video and you're going to start here where I say this is the start of the repeat and you're going to work your repeat until I say this is the end of the repeat and you'll repeat that across to the last six single crochet of the row. So let's begin the repeat. We're going to single crochet in each of the next three single crochet. And remember, we're going into the back loop only. Insert into the back loop of that next stitch. Work a single crochet. That's one. Insert into the back loop of the next stitch. Work a single crochet. And that's two. Insert into the back loop of that next stitch. Work a single crochet and that's three. 
So when you look at your work, you'll see you have the two stitches here in the center. So we're going to skip those two stitches and that helps form our bottom point. We're going to single crochet in each of the next three single crochet. So we skip these two, insert into the back loop of that next stitch, work a single crochet, that's one. Insert into the back loop of the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's two. Insert into the back loop of the next stitch, work a single crochet, and that's three. We're going to work three single crochet into the next single crochet. Insert into the back loop of that next stitch and work three single crochet. One, two, and three. And that is the end of the repeat. So you can see your points line up your bottom point lines up, your top points line up. So now let's do that again. This again is the start of the repeat. We're going to work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches in the back loops only. Insert into the back loop of that next stitch, work a single crochet. That's one. Insert into the back loop of that next stitch, work a single crochet, and that's two. Insert into the back loop of that next stitch, work a single crochet, and that's three. We're going to skip the next two stitches, insert your hook into the back loop of the next stitch, and work one single crochet in the back loop of each of the next three stitches. So that was one, two, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet into the back loop, and that's three. You're going to work three single crochet into the next stitch in the back loop, insert into the back loop of that next stitch, and work three single crochet. That's one, two, and three. And that is the end of the repeat. Now if you're working on a longer chain, click back on the video and repeat across your chain until you get to the last six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six. To end the row, we're going to work one single crochet into the back loop of each of the next four stitches. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's one. Insert into the back loop of the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's two. Insert into the next stitch in the back loop, work a single crochet, that's three. Insert into the back loop of the next stitch, work a single crochet, and that's four. We're over to the last two stitches and we're going to work our decrease. Insert your hook into the back loop of that next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have two loops on your hook and those loops remain on your hook. Insert into the back loop of that last stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops and you just made your decrease. So row two is finished. That is the row you're going to work over and over again. Now I'm going to go ahead and fasten off. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a different color and I'm going to go ahead and work row two with you again. I'm going to go at a little bit faster pace because I already walked you through it step by step. So let me zoom out just a little so you can see. This is what your sample should look like if you're working along with me. You have your three points on top, you have your two points on bottom, and then you have your beginning and end. I'm going to switch and grab yellow. So you have your work. I fastened off. I'm going to turn my work. Now when you're joining your new color, you have to make sure that you're going into the back loop only when you pull that color through. Now you can choose to tie your, your new color here 
at the edge here before you pull it through. I just pull my new color through and then I secure it when I'm all done with my work with a yarn needle. I'm going to pull the new color through and again we're pulling it through the back loop only. You're going to chain one and then we're going to go right in and start our decrease. So I'm just going to work the row. I'm not going to get into real detail. I'm going to decrease across the first two stitches. With the decrease, we're going to insert into that back loop again of that first stitch, yarn over, pull through, insert into the back loop of the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have the three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And again, we're just repeating row two. We're going to work one single crochet into the back loop of the next four stitches. So there's one, two, three, and four. We're going to work three single crochet in the back loop of the next stitch. One, two, and three. Now we're going to start our repeat and again we're working in the back loops only throughout this pattern. So this is where you click back on the video. This is the start of the repeat. We're going to work one single crochet in the back loop of each of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. You're going to skip the next two stitches, insert into the back loop of the next stitch, and you're going to work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. That's two and that's three. We're going to work three single crochet in the back loop of the next stitch, insert into the back loop and work three single crochet. That's two and three. And that is the end of the repeat. And again, your repeat is always ending on the top of the point. So let's work that repeat one more time. We're going to work one single crochet in the back loop of each of the next three stitches. That's one, two, and three. We're going to skip those next two stitches insert into the back loop of that next stitch and work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. You're going to insert your hook into the back loop of that next stitch and work three single crochet. One, two, and three. And again, that is the end of your repeat, and your repeat always ends with the three single crochet at the top of the point. You're going to repeat that across if you're working on a longer chain until you get to the last six single crochet of the row. You can count one, two, three, four, five, six. So to finish the row, we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next four stitches insert into the back loop, work one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. That was one, two, three, and four. We're over to our last two stitches and we need to make our decrease. You're going to insert into the back loop of that next stitch, yarn over, and pull through insert into the back loop of that last stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. 
you're going to chain one, you're going to turn your work, and you're just going to repeat row two for however long you want your work. And remember, if you fasten off and join a new color, make sure that you pull that color through the back loop only of your work. I hope you enjoyed learning how to do the back loop baby ripple. It's a fun little stitch and it's the perfect stitch pattern if you're looking to make a really cute baby afghan. Remember, the PDF file is a free pattern. All my Stitch of the Weeks are free pattern downloads. You can click the link in the description box or you can go directly to my webpage, creativegrandma.net. Just click Stitch of the Week and you can scroll down. You can download one pattern. You can download them all. Get a binder. Make yourself your own little stitch dictionary and resource guide. It's just a fun way when you're looking for the perfect stitch. You can just glance through all those stitch patterns and have them right on hand to pick them up and start your project. So thank you everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed it. And remember, if there's any Stitch of the Week pattern that you would like to see, just leave it in the comment section and I'll see what I can do. So please make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this Stitch of the Week this week. And please make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the crochet fun. Happy crocheting everyone!